energy. The amount of energy we use in this country is unbelievable. It's beyond comprehension. And the cost and demand are greater every day. The good news is we have access to a number of different energy sources. Most every state will mix and match various types of energy, taking full advantage of their particular environment. Texas is oil country, and now so is North Dakota. Solar energy is huge in California, Arizona, and North Carolina. Coal is mined in 27 states. Wyoming, West Virginia, and Kentucky are the top three. The energy used in a particular state or region is contingent upon a number of factors. The availability, accessibility, efficiency, reliability, the environment, and certainly the cost factor into the choices we make. In South Dakota, wind energy has been a choice for generations. Our forefathers used wind power way before people started calling them wind turbines. They were windmills and we pumped a heck of a lot of water out of the ground and livestock survived because we could pump water using windmills. Okay, look, it, it's, it's, it's transformed since that time. Now electricity is the name of the game. South Dakota is the fifth windiest state in the nation. I mean, we've got a lot of wind here. South Dakota is just very flat and very wide open and that's a good, a good start to have wind. We have the wind, we have the land, and today we also have the technology. It's been exciting to see. It's constantly developing, it's, it's constantly changing. 18 years ago when I started in this industry, the largest wind turbines would provide enough electricity for 30 households. Today, they've increased the size and output where they'll power 150 households. They're producing more power, they're, they're more reliable, the components are more reliable, and it just it gets better all the time. If things are kind of working right, you know, that machine will sit there and run itself, and you only have to go there once a year. Realistically, five or six mile an hour winds will actually produce some electricity. In South Dakota, we have 583 wind turbines that produce enough energy to power over 267,000 average homes. And we have a number of proactive companies serving the wind energy industry. We have in Marmon, we have a wind tower manufacturer. In um, Aberdeen, we've got a wind blade manufacturer. In Sioux Falls, we've got a number of companies that depend upon the wind industry. Everything that we fabricate here in Brandon is shipped uh, throughout the Midwest. And basically it goes from North Dakota, Minnesota, uh, Montana down to Texas. We've been building blades since 1987. In, uh, in South Dakota, we began production in uh, the summer of 2008. We currently have uh, just over 600 teammates in the organization. We perform a lot of component repairs up tower, in situ type repairs. And there's some uniqueness to our capabilities some methods that we've developed to minimize the cost of operation, minimize the cost of repair. Not only are we, we, we building them here, but we're also deploying them here as well. I think the last time I checked, we had about 977 megawatts of wind energy being produced in South Dakota today. The growth of the industry, the wind industry, is phenomenal. We are seeing more projects being put up. We are seeing more production. We're seeing new technologies. South Dakota currently has about 25% of its power being generated by wind, a number that a lot of people don't know. And that's pretty significant when you look at the, the national uh, objective is between 20 and 30 percent. So we're in effect there, but the opportunities are greater. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, by the year 2030, South Dakota's wind energy production could triple. However, we do have a few challenges to face before we get there. It's my understanding that we have some capacity on the existing infrastructure, but there are limitations. There needs to be new infrastructure developed. With the new computer systems we've got, with the capabilities we've got, with new transmission lines coming in, we actually have the ability to move that power from one location to another easier than what we used to be able to do. But the big opportunity, I think, long term for the state is an ability to sell power out of state. Now to accomplish that, we're going to need more infrastructure, interstate uh, transmission capabilities. It's my hope, my desire, that we can, we can work through that and uh, continue to develop wind energy in South Dakota. 
If we aggressively promote and become proactive in the further development of wind energy in South Dakota, a great number of people will benefit. As consumers of electricity, uh, we benefit because we have a more diverse power supply. Which means you will have more economic use of, of power and the ability to have more power means you can do it at a lower price. It benefits the uh, power companies. You, know, you look at um, what renewable energy, wind energy does for our membership, it adds a needed source of power that adds to our energy mix. It uh, benefits those workers in South Dakota who work in the wind industry. We hire people right from the farm, we hire people with vocational backgrounds, some master's degrees, and you know we're able to have these individuals have good paying jobs and a rewarding and challenging career. We have 282 employees right now, people from the area, people who moved in the area, so economically speaking it's been great for the region. It helps farmers provide a, another stream of revenue so when crop prices are low maybe they can they've got the wind turbine lease payment that helps them make it another year you know why try to farm it if if you can run cattle there and you're getting this extra income we've got the space and of course we can utilize utilize what we have it benefits all those uh, tech school graduates. For a young person that has mechanical aptitude, who likes to work with their hands, and wants to get paid a reasonable wage, this is a great field to get into. I wanted to stay in South Dakota and not travel as much and start a family, so I, I jumped on board the basin and uh, it's been great ever since. They had us in welding and they had us in a little bit of like robotics for the PLC programming side of it. Uh, mechanical drives you know we, we just we got to do a lot of different things here through just one program and today I'm running the tooling side of renewables for Duke Energy. It helps uh, support our schools it helps support our state. We get some extra tax money because of the wind farm our township and the county gets some extra money so the tax implications that was, that was good. It's a local cafe owner it's the local auto sales shop. It's, it's the local hardware store. All of these businesses benefit from, from wind energy. Wind energy. It's clean, renewable, and a positive choice for South Dakota's future. With wind, once you put it in place, your costs go way down. It's, it's definitely a, a viable resource in South Dakota that can keep booming and getting better. Being booked two years in advance, uh, is incredible. It's a clean energy source, it's cost effective, and it's the way of the future. It's something that we owe to ourselves and to our future generations. As a landowner, I don't see any reason not to do it. I think when it comes to wind energy, we're all winners. Being the fifth windiest state in the nation is one of those, those gifts that we ought to take advantage of. <laughs>